So thanks again for joining us. Whether you are a business owner, a marketer, or an agency who serves many business owners like we do, uh, this is information you're going to want to know. We're glad you're with us because it's really important that we dig into how people are using the Internet to search for businesses and how that's ever-changing in today's world. So we are very excited to announce that we have partnered with the very best um, in this space, which is Yext. And we wanted to make um, the point that we have a very wide choice of v vendors and people that we could partner with, and we have chosen Yext because they are the best. Yext has taken um, a lot of uh, buildup and time over the years to put themselves in the position of being the best and have made direct partnerships with the people who control a lot of the data on the back end. We're going to get into that, but I just wanted to say right off the bat that um, we've put a lot of research and effort into this, and we're so proud to be able to bring it to you. We also have on the line with us, and he's going to jump on during Q&A, uh, Rich Snyder from Yex. So as we're going through this presentation, if there are things that catch your attention, and if it's something that I can't address, Rich is with us, and he's our partner, and he's going to help answer those questions for you. So let's get right into it. Um, things have obviously changed since the 80s and 90s uh, when we got, we're used to hearing that um, AOL dial-up, right? Um, we're witnessing a major platform shift. So as people um, search for businesses, um, there, the rise of artificial intelligence services like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant are really starting um, to take over. So Back in the day, you know, we really got used to seeing the blue links. You put in what you were looking for, and you got a bunch of links back, and you had the chance to make that choice, what you were going to click on. But now, these devices actually give you a structured answer. It is literally like asking a person. And the um, critical part to know about that is that if you ask that person the question and they don't know the answer, um, then you're not going to be found there. So you want to make sure that your business's information, um, down to some very specific details, are found when that person asks the question. And it used to be that your website and your and mobile website, especially in the past couple of years, were really the heart of everything that you needed to make sure was accurate and where a lot of people would find your business. Now, these other places, search maps, directories, voice chat, are really taking over, and 73% of high intent traffic is going to these new services to find you before they come to your website. So not only do we want to be present there, we want to be accurate, and we want to make sure that um, the people who are truly looking to act are finding you where they need to find you. So more customer interaction points than ever with these new consumer services. So it's not just one place, but a variety, and a variety, if you look at this, that you probably feel a little hopeless because you can't control it. Um, but we're going to get to some hope there because um, yes is the answer, and I'm going to show you why. Um, the use of voice-enabled speakers is expected to grow by 130% in the next year. That's probably not surprising to you. Um, an Alexa or Google Echo might be on your um, Christmas list this year. Um, it is certainly on mine. And that is going to change the way people are searching. And if we're recognizing that that's where things are going, then we should probably understand it and take the time to get to know how uh, we can serve our businesses better and we can serve our clients better. So when we look at um, these kind of services, there is first the user interface. So this is what the customers engage with. Um, on our phones, that would look like the browser or the um, uh, text message you bring up. But in the artificial intelligence world, it's um, really about your voice and what you're asking it. And then there's um, the artificial intelligence underneath of it, which is, you know, what, where is the data? Where is the data coming from? And then the knowledge graph, which is the brain-like database that is containing everything about the world and knows what to feed into that system. So the data ecosystem is evolving so rapidly that you have to make sure that all of these different places have the accurate information about your business or you're losing opportunities. We absolutely cannot leave your discoverability to chance when it comes to people finding you. Um, a great example of this, just to put this into some uh, reference for those of you who are not familiar with this, is um, in the restaurant space. 
if you are looking for a specific restaurant that is gluten-free and has a dog-friendly patio, um, those are things that may not be found um, on specific places, but within the, the knowledge graph, you can put that information in there so that when someone asks for that very specific thing, they will find you. And the reality is that business data is very messy. So the average business listing has a lot of incorrect information. Um, shockingly, 43% has an incorrect address. And you may think, how in the world can you get your address wrong? Well, it's actually really easy. Something as simple as St. Paul Street being ST, then P-A-U-L, and then S-T um, is very different than St. S-A-I-N-T, um, Paul, P-A-U-L, and then Street, S-T-R-E-E-T. Um, your unit number or um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your suite number could be um, listed differently. One place it could be unit three, another place it's suite three. This is really important stuff to the brain because it needs to match it up in a very unique way. Um, phone numbers are incorrect. Sometimes businesses move. You started your business as an entrepreneur in your home and then you move into a brick and mortar space and suddenly um, things that you started with are still living there on the internet. And this allows you to really clean it up and give a unified vision uh, to your customers so they see your locations, your people, and your events everywhere accurately across the board. So now your business is way more than just name, address, phone number. So if you're used to sort of the old way of doing search, these are the things that you know, right? Your NAPs, you need to have those things accurate. But now we're talking about a variety of things. Like I mentioned, gluten-free, um, a dog patio, your Facebook page, your menu. Um, maybe it's your association with a particular member of your team that you really want to be found when people look for that person. Um, and this is all very important, and it is all um, based in data. Um, and it makes you feel a little hopeless when you think, oh, my gosh, there's no way I could keep track of all of that. Uh, but there is. And Yext has a system on the back end uh, they call uh, digital knowledge management. So we refer to it as the DKM. So this gives you the structured data back end you need to power the brand across all of the available services today and tomorrow. So it helps you bring all the facts about your brand, your logo, your locations, your people, your events, all into one place and one management system that, shockingly, you have direct control of. And that is a wonderful thing. So that hopelessness really turns into hope and control and allows you to take control of your brand. Um, the value comes in a variety of different ways. So think about that. When you control the data on the back end, you control your discoverability, uh, the customer experience. Like I said, I'm, I have to be gluten-free. Well, if I'm out and about in the city at an event or a meeting and I ask Siri for a gluten-free restaurant near me, I might actually get one half a mile further away than, it, than where there actually is one because that particular business didn't have their information updated in the back end. So now I'm walking an extra mile instead of coming into your business. And you just don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Operational efficiency, it reduces your time, manual effort to go and track down all of these different places where you're keeping track of your brand. And then, of course, brand consistency and control. You always want to make sure that your brand is consistent and people see you, and your brand the same across a variety of methods. Um, so investing in a DKM, that digital knowledge management, means more people see your brand when they search. So it gives you more chances to reach customers, more opportunities for people to come through your door or go to your website, make that purchase. And on average, companies who invest in DKM get 49% more views over a 12-month period. So this is really life-changing for a business. Um, and 15 times the ROI is what the research shows. And I do have the sourcing for these. It's really small on your screen, but we'd be happy to share them with you um, if you were looking for that information. So companies who deploy the full DCAM strategy can see a return about up to 15 times, and I can't imagine any business who wouldn't want that. And then, of course, it drives success. Here is a um, plethora of brands here that you probably all know, um, some local, some national, um, that truly have seen amazing results, and you can see them listed there. Again, we'd be happy to dig into these more with you. Um, we're just not going to do so right now. 
So again, Yext is particularly good at what they do because they have built direct integrations with each of the publisher partners to make sure that the businesses um, update their location information once and it publishes everywhere. And this is not just a system that collects all of your information, shoves it out, and hopes that these directories will take it. The knowledge network actually is connected to and delivers via direct integrations with over 100 global apps, voice assistant search engines, directories, and our I know that we have had this experience many times where you go to a location and you're actually like a block and a half away because the information wasn't correct because the address was funky based on um, based on um, something that was listed somewhere else. So this is again the ability to control your your brand, your access, your locations, everything across a variety of methods. <clears throat> Sorry, my thing won't change. Oh, there's all the brands. All right, and so obviously Alexa, you all know it. Um, we don't like to say it in our office because then she pops on and tries to ask us what we want. Um, so we, we refer to her as she. Um, but Alexa is very powerful, and as we mentioned already, 130% growth expected in the next year for these audio devices. So you have to know how to control the information going into Alexa so that when people ask her, they'll get what you want them to get. So you can power the facts about your business on every Google Maps on a dime when you find out that they're incorrect. Um, duplicate records of your business can actually create a huge problem for the back end uh-oh, are you guys there? Are you able to hear me? Can anyone just speak up if you can hear me? I hear you. I can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I think a couple people might have lost audio. I apologize for that. So when duplicate records of your business show up in places, it really can cost your business time and money and valuable um, search engine optimization on the back end. And Yes has a patented system of duplicate suppression that finds and suppresses duplicate listings at the publisher level so that consumers will never see your incorrect data. So if you're listed in there twice, it will actually suppress the ones that are inaccurate based on what they see in the system. It also allows you to stand out from the competition by putting in branded content. So that logo you spent a lot of money developing and put your heart and soul into will show up and really things will match. And then with all of these metrics, the, the question then becomes, well, what can you use it for? You know, we want accuracy and we want to drive that SEO on the back end and that's super important. But a lot of businesses also use it for other things. Um, discovery, visibility, engagement, audience, knowing who the people are that are seeing your stuff. Um, and then most importantly, um, really being able to see trends and being able to use that to drive some of your own business information. So um, this gives you a centralized view of how consumers are interacting with your brand and then tells you a story. And everything we want to change about our businesses can be done right through what the data tells us. And this gives you some insight into what people are doing and seeing about your brand. Uh, so this is a good example of how um, a customer used um, customer action data to inform their staffing process. Um, so it's because you don't own Yelp, Google, Facebook, or the other places where your brand appears, it's not possible to get a centralized view of how consumers interact with your brand across all those places. But within this system, um, Yex Analytics for Listings, you're able to actually see all of that information in the knowledge um, network and it gives you the information you need to make decisions about what may or may not be good for your business. So you can tailor your listing content on a dime, changing in real time for what you're seeing. So if you notice that someone's searching for a specific thing often and that's how they're finding you, then well, let's go and do that again, right? Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. You can test new promotions based on the audience demographics you're seeing and you can easily focus 
um, what time you do spend um, updating your EX on, um, so that you're using your resources properly. And then you learn from that customer feedback and then adjust as you go. And that's what the InRadius team will help you do. Um, we won't just turn you loose on this and import you into our system, but really teach you how to use it and help your business grow um, through this opportunity. Um, reviews is also something that is available within the X system. So this allows you to pinpoint, um, you know, first of all, get reviews and be able to see them, respond to them, but then pinpoint your best performing locations and know what you need to change. Um, so maybe you need to drill down and make real improvements to operations because you're seeing consistent reviews for one location across the board saying that this particular thing is not good. Um, well, that's great feedback, and you should then be able to go back and attribute that to maybe a lower-performing store and make the changes necessary. Welcome, whoever's just jumping on. Um, identify locations or geographies that need additional reviews generated. So this is a, we know that reviews are powerful and they can really serve us in the space. Well, then you can actually go in and um, make those changes. And um, hi there, whoever just joined or, or left, actually. I guess I can't say goodbye to them now. It's too late. But um, so there's a lot of opportunity here to really um, use the system to pr provide you resources back into your business as opposed to just push, there's a lot of pull here um, as well. Um, this is an example of um, a company that used the review word cloud to listen to customers from all over the world that are um, influence, use that information to influence, influence decisions on your menu, your hours, your staffing. It really allows you to, again, build your business toward better productivity and giving a better product for your customers based on what people see. So that's what we have for you today. Um, I hope that was interesting to you. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it up for Q&A. Before we do, I just want to say that um, whoever we have on the line, I know a lot of people who signed up were other marketing agencies that also serve businesses like us. Some were direct uh, business owners. I just want to let you know and say that we are a very collaborative group here at Inradius. We love to work with all type of agencies so that we can serve those businesses together. So if that is you and you want more information, please feel free to reach out to us and on how we can partner together. If you have a representative within Radius already, please contact that person uh, to get you set up if this is something you're interested in. And if not, the email to reach us is yext, Y-E-X-T on your screen, at nradius.com. And so now I'd love to open it up for questions. Again, we have Rich on the line from yext. Um, so if there are any deeper questions that involve the data knowledge network, um, Rich will be happy to answer those for us. And of course, if there's ever a moment where we can't answer your question directly, we will absolutely find out. Does anyone have anything you'd like to jump into or any slides you'd like to go back to? Is anyone still there? All right. Wonderful. Well, if no one has any questions, then we will go ahead and jump off. Thank you so much for joining us during this time. Uh, if you do have any questions, again, please feel free to email us, yext at inradius.com, and we will get back to you with whatever answers you might need. If you're still on and you come up with any questions, we'll hang out for a few minutes to see if everybody pops off. Oh, uh, hey, Kelly, can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Who's there? Uh, this is Rich from Yext. I just wanted to, to thank everybody who did uh, come out and listen. Um, I am here to answer any questions you have. I'm actually sort of curious if anyone could, anyone could sort of walk me through um, if they've been approaching this problem in a specific way before or if they had any questions about what they were doing differently uh, and how does that compare to Yext. I'm, I'm absolutely open to taking that question. Thank you. Awesome, Rich. Don't be shy, guys. We're here to help. I guess no questions, Rich. Okay. It's because you did a good questions. job. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I... <laughs> 
Or they're all watching TV right now and just jumped on to make me feel special. One or the other. <laughs> all right. Well, if no one has any questions, we're going to go ahead and hop off, uh, honor your time. But please do follow up with us one-on-one. -on -one. We're happy to serve you. And we're really excited to partner with Yext. And we're here to help. So thank you so much. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Rich. Thank you.